Hello and welcome to another Quartoff UHPC video. My name is Tim and today it's my pleasure to walk you through the creation and installation of the next major advancement in pre-tensioned ultra high performance concrete structural components, our full scale Quartoff UHPC H piling. Nearly a year ago, we introduced our 18 inch by 18 inch by 100 foot long square UHPC piling to the world in an installation demonstration at the Loire Construction Yard in Leesburg, Florida. The results of that test were nothing short of revolutionary. We were able to drive the piling through 20 feet of bedrock, 90 feet in total, and never once had the integrity of the piling dip below 100%, regardless of the size of the hammer we used to drive it with. With the results of the Loire test made official, we received requests from several state transportation entities to see if we could produce an H piling using UHPC. We did just that. Like our square piling, our H piling exhibits the same capacities in terms of being able to handle extreme compressive and flexural loads. However, it does so using approximately half the required material to produce it. The net result of this material savings is a lighter weight, more cost effective end product that has the potential for further savings over the lifespan of a project when additional factors such as transportation and installation costs are considered. Here, we are once again on site at Durastress Incorporated in Leesburg, Florida. Just as we have in prior videos, we are once again utilizing one yard super sacks of our pre-mixed dry constituents to manufacture this component. In total, we use approximately 16 yards of Kortoff UHPC to create our 30 inch by 30 inch by 140 foot long Kortoff UHPC H piling. For the creation of this full scale sample, we once again use the same top down gravity fed production methodology as we have in the creation of the two 60 foot H piling test samples featured previously. Just like those prior test samples, this full length example was free of any cold joints, voids, bug holes, or scaling of any kind. For the installation of our full scale sample, we are on site along Northeast County Road 339 in Trenton, Florida, where the installation crew from Loire Construction is working in conjunction with the Florida Department of Transportation on the widening and replacement of a small two-lane bridge. As part of the installation of this bridge project, FDOT wanted to directly compare the installation of our UHPC H piling against square pilings made of conventional concrete side by side in a difficult environment. As can be seen here, the bridge being replaced along County Road 339 crosses a riparian marshland. These environments are notoriously hard on traditional concrete as they are semi-aquatic. Unlike traditional concrete, Kortuff UHPC is nearly impermeable, making it extremely resistant to water and chemical penetration and the ideal material to use in these conditions. Here we can see accelerated footage of the installation of the piling in action. As was the case with our square piling, the installation of our H piling went just as smoothly and was largely a non-event. The Kortuff UHPC H piling was able to cut through the subsurface strata with little resistance and never dipped below 100% integrity at any point during the installation, despite enduring roughly 2 million pounds of pressure at its base. The similarities to our prior test with the square piling didn't stop with the real-time data reporting or the ease of installation, as the pad between the hammer head of the D62 piling hammer and the top of the piling again caught fire and began to disintegrate from the friction between the two materials, as can be seen here. As was the case during our prior test, aside from the soot and residue left by the burning hammer pad, there was no damage whatsoever to the top of the piling, proving once again that Kortuff UHPC is the only name you need to know for all of your UHPC needs. <laughs> 